Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually in Canada right now, Toronto, and it is snowing outside, and your girl is from Florida, so you guys know I'm having a blast. <laughs> I wanted to hop in here really quick and let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Rival Stars Horse Racing. I've actually talked about this game in the past. It's a free mobile game app all about horses, where your job is to restore your family's homestead and become a horse racing champion. You actually get to breed and train your own horse. And ever since I talked about the game, I've received so many comments from you guys letting me know how much you love it and how much you've played it. Well, now the game is getting even better. It's actually gotten some awesome updates inspired by your suggestions and your feedback. The game now has augmented reality share where you can literally capture your horse in real life. Like your horse can literally be standing on your bed or on your desk. It's the coolest thing. And you can now customize your horse with a bunch of different looks. So you can change your saddle pads, your bridles, your cloths, and show it off with multi-share. And finally, the most requested of update, which is right on theme with my videos lately, with Crystal being pregnant and everything, you now have the option to raise your own foal after breeding. And caring for your foal actually boosts your racing stats. much fun you guys are gonna love it and you can download the game for free on the App Store or on Google Play just using the link in my description box I'm definitely gonna breed my own foal maybe try and create crystals future foal I'm hoping she has a buckskin but this game is super fun I hope you guys enjoy playing and let's get on into the video <laughs> Today I'm filming a trendy video, okay? I'm being trendy. There's this new video trend where people actually document what they spend in a week. So it's like what I spend in a week as a 21 year old in LA or what I spend in a week as a 30 year old in New York. Like, I don't know. Everyone has like their own little thing, right? So I've been watching them nonstop. I find them to be so interesting. So I decided to film my own what I spend in a week, but this is kind of like what I spend in a week as an equestrian, as a horse owner, just like what I spend in a week on my animals. I thought it'd be fun to just make that little twist because honestly, I don't really spend that much money unless I'm buying feed for my animals. <laughs> all I spend my money on is food, bills, and all the pets. So I'm like, you know what? Might as well focus on the animals because that's where most of my money goes. So I documented everything, you guys. I've been organizing the receipts and everything, but I kind of like stopped myself from looking at all the totals because I want to be surprised at the end of this video with you guys. I have all of my receipts right here. Let's go ahead and get started with Monday. We're actually going out of town this week and we wanted to make sure that the horses had everything they needed and that they would be set. Yankee and Dooley actually needed a new water bucket. Theirs is like super small and I didn't want my brother to be constantly refilling it throughout the day. I wanted to make things easier for him since we are traveling. Don't want to give him unnecessary work. I ended up going to the tax store. I would have loved to have found a bigger size but they didn't have those in that store. The buckets that I actually got are muck buckets. Like that's what you use to clean stalls. Well that's what some people use to clean stalls but I just I use them as water buckets and they were actually having a sale like a little raffle thing so you would pick out of a box to just randomly pick a percentage and I actually got 15% off of the water buckets I found two of them a purple and a green and the cost of each one was originally $21.50 but with my 15% discount <laughs> I got them for $18.28 each so because I bought two of them my total was $39.12 I'm trying to decide what color they should get <laughs> does dual he match the purple or does he match the green? Yankee, what color do you want? Do you want purple or greenies? Purple looks good with you, pretty boy. Yay, you got a new water bucket. I don't know if you can tell, it's like much bigger than this one. So hopefully he won't run out that often, right? And Dooley is gonna get the green. That green bucket looks so nice in here. It's so clean. Pretty soon it's gonna look like this, you guys. <laughs> and I actually used a gift card, so technically I really didn't spend money on Monday. But you know what, we're gonna count it, okay? Because I could have used that gift card for something else. Like it's still money, right? So we're gonna count it. Okay, so on Tuesday, I had to restock on grain. Crystal was running out, so I had to get her another bag of Marin Full. As you guys know, she's pregnant, so I have been feeding her grain lately. But before she got pregnant, grain really wasn't part of my expense. I would just feed my horses hay. But now that she's pregnant, she needs those extra calories and nutrients, so now that's something I buy weekly. Well, honestly, I haven't even calculated how much it lasts. I might be buying it once every two weeks or three weeks, but 
Yes, I had to buy Crystal some grain, and the cost of her grain is actually $15.50. I also had to buy the cows some hay. They were totally out of hay. I buy them coastal hay, and the price of that is actually $7.99. So my total for both of those things, for the grain and the hay, was actually $23.49, but your girl had a gift card. <laughs> what can I say, you guys? I got lucky this week. <laughs> I had a $10 gift card. Was it a $10 gift card or 10% off? Mm. I think it was a $10 gift card, so I ended up spending $13.49. I didn't buy any of our animals anything else on Tuesday, so yeah, $13.49 was my total for Tuesday. So, moving on to Wednesday. Where's my receipt for Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday? Okay. So, on Wednesday, I actually had to buy the chickens some more of their layer crumbles. Normally, you guys, I would try to do this all in one trip. Like, I don't know why I was going to the feed store every day, but the chickens ran out of layer crumbles. I should have checked in the beginning of the week, so I could have grabbed it the day I grabbed Crystal's grain. But either way, it's a different feed store, so it's not like I could have saved the trip because I still had to go somewhere else. For the chicken feed, like I said, I feed them layer crumbles, and the cost for a bag of the layer crumbles is actually $11.79, but... They were having a sale and I got it for $10.61. Oh, no, 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 wait. I didn't get it for $10.61. What is that then? The return value? What does that mean? I ended up getting a discount, but the discount was only $1.18. So I went from $11.79 to $11.35. Okay, so now we're down to Thursday, and this is actually my biggest expense when it comes to all of the animals. Like, out of everything I have to buy them, this is like the most expensive thing. And it's specifically for the horses, and that is actually their hay. When I can, I buy the horses a big block of alfalfa. It's a huge compressed bale. It actually weighs about 500 pounds. I just drop it in their paddock, and they have access to it 24-7. So they're constantly eating. We actually don't have a tractor, so Rob and I push it with our feet Woo! there you go a fresh block of alfalfa for the girls they're over here waiting <laughs> are you waiting to eat your hay what are you doing with your head through the window are you crazy look at her don't eat my antenna Woo -wee! Oh my gosh, they're excited. Crystal does amazing on those blocks. Like, she is such a hard keeper. And that is actually one of the things that I've noticed has really helped her keep weight on. I'm obsessed with those blocks. I buy them as often as I can. But again, they're really expensive. So sometimes I have to switch to bales because your girl can't afford it. But ideally, I do try my best to buy her those blocks as often as possible. And those are really expensive. I honestly haven't done the calculation, but comparing those blocks to normal bales, I think it might be the same price. It's just a more expensive, like, upfront cost. I might be wrong. I honestly haven't taken the time to sit down and calculate it, but that big block actually lasts about five to seven days for two horses. So for Brandy and Crystal, the big 500-pound block of alfalfa lasts them almost a week, depending on how much they're eating it. So yeah, I haven't even told you the price of these bales, but the price Price is actually calculated by weight so it's not like a fixed price that I know every single week this is how much I'm spending it honestly depends on how much it's gonna weigh so they say it's a 500 pound block but that ranges like sometimes it can be a little bit on the lighter side sometimes it can be on the heavier side so every time you go to pick it up there's the big scale and they drop the block on the scale and depending on what the weight is they calculate the price I honestly don't know how much it actually is per pound I should probably ask but it's usually between 90 and and like 130 like that's kind of like the range between $90 if it's light and up to like 130 if it's a little bit heavier but anyway my hay block on Thursday ended up costing ready I'm being so dramatic I mean it's not that bad but still that's a lot of money this block ended up costing $103.03 yeah. Like I said, it's a little on the pricey side. This is like my main expense, like the heftiest expense when it comes to all the animals. But it's worth it. I, I, It's just so convenient. You don't have to like constantly be throwing hay for them all the time. They get to eat all day as opposed to having three big feedings. Crystal does so well on it and she's a thoroughbred. She's always been a hard keeper. And these have honestly been what has kept most weight on her out of everything that I've tried. I know some places don't have these kinds of hay blocks, but if you can get access to them, um, definitely consider it maybe try it and see how your horse does on it but this has definitely been great for crystal but anyway yeah it's expensive
Okay, so now we're down to Friday. In the morning, the farrier actually came over to trim the horse's hooves. And I actually don't shoe my horses, so it's a lot cheaper. Honestly, it's just a trim. And my farrier charges $30 per horse. So for Crystal and Brandy, my total for the farrier was actually $60. Now, later on that day, I actually had to buy the dogs some more dog food. So that night, I went to Publix and bought them another bag of dog food. All right, you guys, so I am at Publix looking for some dog food. Food. I started dabbling in other dog food brands and the price of this bag of dog food was $18.99 and of course I'm at Publix and you know I headed to the bakery section and everything smelled really good and they actually had my favorite cookies in stock because they don't make them often like I honestly don't know why it's not like one of their standard cookies that they just have available all the time they're the Heath Bar cookies I didn't know what that was but I tried them one day because they were giving samples and I fell in love so when I saw them in the bakery section, of course, I had to grab a little pack. <laughs> um, obviously, that has nothing to do with the animals, but I thought I would just add it in there because it is part of my Publix total. So the price of the cookies were actually $4.99. They never make those, okay? I can never find them. So when I saw them, I had to get them. <laughs> so my official total for the dog food and the cookies at Publix was actually $25.31. my total but I feel like I did good like I don't think I spent that much and this week there were a lot of sales I had gift cards so I think I did pretty good and I honestly don't really spend that much money on myself I feel like everyone who has pets or horses probably does the same thing like my horses just have better stuff than I do like I'm not a shopper honestly all I spend my money on is bills food and all my animals <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my phone and we're gonna do the calculation to see how much I spent in a week let me put my little calculator out make sure I got all of my receipts okay so on Monday I bought the two water buckets for Yankee and Dooley and my total was $39.12 then on Tuesday I bought Crystal's grain and the cows hay and my total was $15.50 for the grain and $7.99 for the hay but I had a $10 gift card so my total ended up being should I add the gift card I don't know you know what I'm not gonna add the gift card because usually I don't have a gift card so it would have been $23.49 on Wednesday, I bought the one bag of chicken feed and my total was $11.35. Now on Thursday, I bought the big block of alfalfa hay for the horses and this was $103.03. Okay, now on Friday, the farrier, it was 30 for Brandy, 30 for Crystal. And then that night, I bought dog food and cookies, which was $18.99 for the dog food, $4.99 for the cookies, plus $1.33 for tax. Okay, my official total for what I spent in a week as an equestrian, as a horse owner, as a farm girl, I guess, whatever you want to call it, was $262.30. I think I did pretty good. I don't know. And I don't spend this every single week because some of the food that I purchase for the chickens or the cows lasts longer than a week. So this is not like a fixed weekly expense. Like I would normally not have to buy the water buckets. But yeah, that is my official total, you guys. I, I feel pretty good. It's definitely a lot of money. But compared to all of the other videos that I've watched like this, I feel like I'm pretty good. Like I'm on the safe side, you guys. I try my best to save. I, I hold on to coupons. I look for specials like your girl can find a bargain okay <laughs> anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed this video this was actually really cool to film because it kind of opens your eyes to how much you're spending like if you just want to do it in your personal life you don't have to post it on the internet but just to see you know it's important to keep track of your finances and make sure you're making smart financial decisions so yeah this was this was pretty fun it was it was really eye-opening i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please 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 give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it you guys don't know how far those thumbs ups go 
Also, if you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Cindy Valentina. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Here is my notification shout out. Thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys want to be shouted out in my next video, all you got to do is just click the notification bell and then leave me a comment letting me know that you've done it and that is it. You might be shouted out in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!